Hey guys, it's me, Ria. Just popping on real quick. Um, I just tried to do this little video outside, but then, you know, I lost internet connection, and so I just deleted it. But um, the reason why I'm popping on real quick is on my way home, like we all experience a lot of times when we're in the vehicle by ourselves, it kind of puts us into a light meditation to contemplate, think, ponder, create space for information to flow. So after I dropped off Mythos and I didn't have the iPad playing in the back seat with Popeye and then I could just kind of be quiet and tune in, um, something kept running through my mind and it had to do with uh, Rebecca on Cosmic Rewire, how she requested um, for us to post our favorite quote and um, I had a couple of them that I posted. But as I was driving home after dropping Mythos off, I realized um, it just made me think a little bit. Like we have these quotes, we have these um, little catchphrases that we talk about and that we believe in. But it made me question, um, is it just a quote? Is it just a little cliche? How much of our quotes are we actually integrating into the very cell of our being? Um, the two quotes that I picked was one was abundance and it's by my favorite spiritual teacher Bashar and what he says is a true abundance it's not having all this stuff and castles and mansions and big bank account abundance truly is is having what you need to do what you need to do in the moment it's just having the means to do what you need to do in the moment because isn't that all we really have is the moment and it just made me realize that because sometimes we can get caught up in our goals and having to save money, having to have a bank account. How are we going to achieve this goal? But truly, if all we ever have is the now, when we project those thoughts, we're creating illusionary projections because we don't even know how that's going to turn out if we're not really taking advantage of the now fully. So if we take advantage of the now fully and truly do the best that we can do with what we got to our greatest joy, all other nows <laughs> will take care of themselves. And it's something so simple, but sometimes we start getting caught up in the human mind of how to, how to, how's this going to happen? What if, what if? Because we all do it. We're all human, having that human experience. So I just wanted to bring that up and, and I catch myself even, okay, I have what I need to do in the moment. It's abundance is just simply having what you need to do what you need to do now. And my other quote was, things are as they should be. And my husband will always say, oh, I don't want to hear that. That's just a catch-all. That's just an excuse to not take responsibility. But that is the complete opposite. Because when you truly believe things as are as is they should be, you are creating allowance for them to be in the fullness that they are. You are releasing resistance. You are surrendering to the moment. And it's like, when you do that, you create space for flow. You create space for opportunities to present because you're not resisting. You are, tr if you're truly believing, not just saying it, but believing things are as they should be. And ask yourself, do I really believe that? And I know I really do believe that. Because if everything is God, and God is nothing but love, then things truly are as they should be. Again, our human mind likes to create, project thoughts. <laughs> and of course, our thoughts do create our reality. And what we focus on grows. So if we focus on things aren't as they should be. We need to take control of the situation. Um, in believing that things are as they should be, you are really taking responsibility. You're taking responsibility for who you are, God's self. You're taking responsibility for what you believe by allowing. You're taking responsibility for surrendering to what you have created, which creates an energy of high frequency, which allows things to flow, things to manifest in your life. So I just really, really felt the need to pop on real quick and share that because you know how I always say the pressure, well, I don't always say the pressure cooker is building, but 
you know, when that energy is building in you and building and building, if you don't release it and if you don't express it in whatever way, shape or form that is, you block the momentum. It's like a carbonated drink that you've shaken up. And if it, if you don't pop the top and let it come out, all of that built behind that initial pop is, is, is going to die in the background. Then eventually the bubbles dissipate and it's just stuck and it's just stagnant. But if you act out on your excitement and you act out on those um, inclinations in, in, within you that bring forth excitement and joy and uh, freedom, just do it because then you all everything else behind the initial bubbles bursting comes forth and psh, explodes. It explodes into your reality. You create momentum. The energy flows. You're like that egg that's been cracked open and the oak oozes out. So I just wanted to share that really, really quick. Whatever, um, whatever quote that you shared, and thank you, Rebecca, for requesting that because that gives us an opportunity to question, to contemplate, to ponder. Well, what is important? What do we believe? What is our favorite catch-all quote? that we integrate and believe in every cell of our being. So it gives us an opportunity for that. And what a beautiful thing, because all that does is create space for more self-discovery. How awesome. So thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> and as I was saying, you guys, whatever you wrote, or if you didn't write something, what is your favorite quote? And why is it your favorite quote? I know my quotes are my favorite because they are freeing. They are so freeing. Because you can release control to the higher the higher um, God, your higher self, the higher forces working for you. What an awesome, awesome thing to be able to release the mind, not having to have control, and just to believe that things truly are as they should be because it's through that belief and that intent of love and everything working for you, that is how you create it. Um, one other thing, guys, if you happen to be watching this, is uh, Kelly and I will be going live, no, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow at 11, and Jimmy and I and Caleb will be going live today at 10. So hopefully we'll see some of you guys there, and have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Love you.